Yo. Beat the Broncos 19 to 8, but seemingly the biggest drama took place before the game. Yeah. Steve Smith tried to talk to Jerry Judy about some of the comments that he said before. Mm -hmm. And he got an opportunity and they asked him, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and Smitty, who you know, uh, Steve, very well, you played, mm -hmm. you guys went to junior college together. Yes, sir. He said that Judy told him, Ninja, and we know in our community what Ninja mean. Right. I don't know with you. Mm -hmm. Um, And then during a segment in which Steve Smith Sr. was talking, Jerry Judy started dancing and singing behind Smitty. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your takeaway from what transpired before the game? I mean, We're going to get into the game. But obviously, before the game, what transpired, one of the one of the things that I always told you about and one of the things that I have to, to get better at is being able to navigate and delivering and being critical of, of players without it becoming personal for them. And that is something very, very difficult that players in today's game are not really good with. They're not good at taking criticism and being able to use that constructive criticism at time and being able to channel that and allow it to fuel them to go out and perform to the magnitude and to the standard in which we hold them to. Uh, obviously, uh, some of the things that Steve said didn't sit well with with Jerry. So as as a player, as, as a player myself, I kind of understand where Jerry's coming from. And then as being on the other end of the spectrum and knowing what Steve Smith was trying to do and hoping that the words that he used actually fueled Jerry in a positive manner. But obviously it didn't go that way. And it probably wouldn't go that way for many players when they hear former players talk about them in that way. And knowing Steve and how Steve is, he's a straight, he's a straight shooter. He going he gonna to tell you like it is based on how he feels and based on the production that you've done, you know, to this point. With that being said, I love Jerry. I love Steve. I would like for him to, to be able to go out and be maybe the only shining light on that Broncos offense. So he doesn't have to deal with the scrutiny, but nobody is playing well right now with Broncos. So why we're sending Jerry Judy out when everything right now, it seems like it's, it's that's not what like the guy. That, that's that's not what you said earlier. You said Russ was playing well. That's not what you said just well, a, just a week. You said Russell Wilson. You tried to argue me that Russell Wilson okay, had played this, better. I'm talking this. about oh, no, as, just a as just everybody. A I'm talking just a, no, 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 no. Ain't no uh, mentality. Right. Just the other day, you argued yeah. with me that Pat mm -hmm. that uh, uh, Russell Wilson had right. performed better than Patrick Mahomes, and mm -hmm. then I corrected you, and right. you said Russell mm -hmm. Wilson had played well. It's mm -hmm. the defense that's bad. Now you're saying that Jerry, now nobody is mm -hmm. playing well. So well, which is it? Is wait, Russell wait, Wilson okay. playing well or is wait he going to play well? Wait a minute. The team is one and four, right? Yes. Is the team one and four? Yes. Okay. The, t the team is one and four. So as a whole, they're not playing well altogether. They're one and why five are we, now. Why, why are we? Oh, yeah. They're one and five now. Why are we singing out them? And then the defense, the defense played well tonight. The defense ah! played well tonight. It was a two. Listen to me now. It was a two possession game all the way up to the goddamn fourth quarter. Now, yes, they had they had ample time and ample opportunity to make it a game. And the refs, so the, the refs, the refs tried to make it a game. Obviously, towards the end on that non roughing the passer. passer, they did that on purpose. So Let's let me make ask it you, a game for them. So let me ask you this: If at one and four nobody was playing well, why were you trumping in Russell Wilson's calls? Well, why, why was that? What? trumpeting Russell Wilson's calls. You said Russell Wilson was playing well. Now, to hold on just a second. Now to help build your case why Jerry Judy mm. isn't playing well, you said no one is playing well, and so why are we piling on Jerry Judy? I'm I'm talking about we're piling on Jerry Judy when offensively the team in itself is not playing well. We're not you we're not seeing the Russell Wilson we're used to seeing that we saw when he was with the Seahawks. We all know that. But that. his numbers, his numbers aren't what they were with the Seahawks, but they're not as bad as we we're trying to make it seem. If you uh, pull up the goddamn numbers, Russell Wilson was 13 or 22 for 95 yards. He got 37 of those yards on that la on that touchdown drive. Now, with one yeah. touchdown and two interceptions. Mm -hmm. So again, now you are oh, you oh, sure? Oh, oh okay. You, now, now you talk about the ninth game. Now, before that, I'm saying before that, they, they were playing decent football. He was that's not what you said earlier. Football. That's not what you said. You just said nobody was playing well. Now you're coming back reframing it, saying they were playing decent. Now, which is it? Well, it's, it's both of them. If you look at it from both spectrums, both both sides of it. Well, how you play, if you're one and four, how are you playing decent? Well, ain't nobody playing as good as we want them to. That's why they're one and four. But that's not what you just said, Ocho. You just said they were playing decent. Decent ain't going to win you no games. You know that, right? Oh! 
Oh, really? Decent ain't gonna win you no games. You know that, right? Oh. Stay, stay with me. You you know that. Decent ain't gonna win you no that. games. So so you think? Hold on. Jerry Judy was the fifteenth overall pick. Yeah. Jerry Judy. Uh, there are five receivers in that same draft class that right. have more receiving yards than Jerry Judy's 2503 and nine touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Justin Jefferson, who was selected after Je uh, uh, Jerry Judy. T. Higgins, who was selected after Jerry Judy. CeeDee Lamb, who was selected after Jerry, Jerry Judy. Brandon Ayuk, who was selected after uh, Jerry Judy. Michael Pittman Jr., who was selected after Jerry Judy. All of those guys have more receiving yards, more touchdowns. How, how about I do you this one? There were two receivers that were selected in the draft after him. That's been more productive than Jerry Judy. Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, and Armand St. Brown and Devon, Devontae Smith are within 100 yards who were selected in the draft after him of Jerry Judy. Look, and so look you're at all, saying, hold look on, at, look at, okay. hold on just a second. So you're saying the criticism. Mm -hmm. That Steve Smith said the constructive criticism of a guy that has over a thousand catches, a guy that's mm -hmm. been to multiple Pro Bowls, one of five guys, if I'm not mistaken, to possess the triple crown, lead the league in yards, catches, and touchdowns in the same calendar season. So you're saying his critique of Jerry Judy is unfair. I said the delivery of the critique was unfair. Okay, oh, how we, 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 we missed that part. We missed so, that part. So, we, we missed so, that part. Because if, did, if, if it was fair, then Jerry wouldn't, it would be no reason for him to be mad. He's mad for a reason. You just said that the players take the criticism, they don't handle it well. So should he have to deliver for the Amazon Prime, UPS, <laughs> FedEx, Standard Mail? How should Listen, he have how should you know, he have delivered you know it? What? And I don't I don't I don't like what you did because you just ran out all the people that were drafted before and after him and look at the team that you're naming that are using the players to their advantages. Well, Look about what you you're naming your name in Jamar Chase. Well, okay, you name in you you're naming Justin Jefferson. Well, you okay. name in Jalen Waddle. Well, look at what the teams are doing with you. Them. Do the hold players on. to their you strengths. Do, you do realize that yes, when sir. teams select the player before yes, these other players are selected, you yes, do sir. realize the expectation is what for that player to perform at a level at that. Or above what said players that were drafted after drafted. Him. You do know how the draft works, right? Right. I do know how it works, right? And you know how production works, right? Yeah. You know how production he, works? Yes. And in and, and targets and being able to produce, you have to be able to put in the position to do that, right? Yes. You have to be able to put, be put in a position to do that. It don't just okay. happen. It don't just happen by yourself. Yes. Hey, you know what? Even Claypool, Chase Claypool, who's yeah. on his third team. Yeah, in the same draft as Jerry Judy. Yes, sir. Has four more touchdowns. Oh, so we oh we, we try we trying to nitpick. We thought we, we, we ain't we no nitpick. You just on, said man. players don't handle constructive criticism because you said the delivery. Well, you, I have a question, Shannon. Yes. You know you know good and well they don't take it well because you are very critical of players and you deliver your message in the way you're going to deliver it and you're not motherfucking changing the way you deliver that message when they're not right. playing the way they should based yes. on the standard that you hold them by. And you why, know do you, they why don't do, they don't take it well? Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Why don't why they don't get upset when I give them credit? Why don't they say, "Man, uh, give me too much credit"? I don't mm -hmm. need all that credit, man. That listen, that that's that's the later that's the later landscape. That's the hey, nature so, of the beast. Say that's it just again. The way, that's just the way it is. So guess what? That's the lay of the land. When you yeah. on this side of the camera, that's the lay of yeah. the land. You play right. well, I say you play well. You play bad, I say you play bad. Right, right. But I, I just but. I thought it was a little bit unprofessional. You see mm -hmm. them doing an interview, and then right. you come on the sideline and you start dancing and bucking oh, behind them. Oh, 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 oh! So now it's a problem. Oh, it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's a, oh it's a problem. So is that? Hold on, let me ask you a question. Oh, so oh, now that's a problem. Was that professional? So you can you can shoot how you want to on the camera and the mic, but then when the person see you in person, that's the problem on how they want to dance he, and why they want to get ready for the game. You do realize that Steve Smith approached him like a man and wanted to have a conversation and to say, "Bro, if I if you took anything that I said, I want to apologize." He, for how right? Oh, he said he did. He did say sorry. Well, yeah. bro, he 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 wasn't feeling it. He wasn't feeling it. Well, how about, feel, how about but you know what? Jared Judy can make the artist go away if he played better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, three catches tonight for 14 yards. So what's that supposed to do? 